ND filters can offer a huge range of benefits for photography. With regards to camera drones though, they are pretty much a must have if you want to be able to get the very best from your footage, simply due to the types of cameras that we use. Now today we're going to take a closer look at a set of ND filters from Camera Butter that have been specifically designed for the DJI O3 system. What I'm going to do first of all is explain why you might need a set of ND filters. We'll then take a closer look at these. I'll share with you my thoughts and show you some of the results that you can get from them. Now, just to be clear up front, I was sent these ND filters from Camera Butter for free. However, I've not been paid to make this video and as always, my thoughts are entirely my own. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is explain exactly what an ND filter is and why you may want to use one. ND stands for Neutral Density. It's basically a set of sunglasses for your camera. It reduces the amount of light that reaches the lens and sensor. The reason it's called neutral density is that it has no effect on the colour of the light and what it means is the image should look exactly the same, just less bright. Now, in general photography and videography, ND filters are normally used for long exposure, allowing you to get some really nice images that you see like around waves and things like that with the water just looks all smooth. However, in drone photography, there's a real specific need for an ND filter due to the way our cameras differ from a normal camera. Most cameras have three ways to control the amount of light it's picking up or reaching the sensor. You have ISO, which is gain, so you can turn that down to minimum. You have your shutter speed, and then you have your aperture. If you wanted to reduce the amount of light entering the camera, you could simply reduce the aperture and that would stop more light reaching the sensor. However, on camera drones, we don't actually have an aperture and all we have is ISO and shutter speed. Now, the problem with this is drones do have a lot of vibrating parts on board and high shutter speeds can actually cause vibrations to make it through to your footage. Also, there is a rule in general videography that you should always try and keep your shutter speed twice as fast as your frame rate. This allows for the smoothest possible footage and it also helps reduce jello and vibrations making it through as well. Unfortunately, on bright days, you can reduce your ISO as much as you want, but you may not be able to get your shutter speed to be twice your frame rate simply because it being so bright outside. This is where an ND filter kicks in. You're basically using the ND filter to reduce the amount of light reaching the sensor. And as such, you choose the ND filter that allows you to get the right exposure and that twice the frame rate shutter speed. Now, I'm not going to go into this in much more detail, but the very basics are if you were filming in 4K 30 frames a second, ideally, you're going to want your shutter speed to be 1 60th. On a bright day, you may put your ISO down to 100 or leave it on auto, but you will find that your shutter speed will be at least 200th, 300th of a second to try and reduce the amount of light, and that then is going to cause jello. So what you do is use the ND filter to bring that shutter speed back down to where it needs to be. So for us in the camera drone world, ND filters, especially if you live somewhere where it is fairly bright, are an absolute must if you want to get the very best from your footage. What we're going to do next is take a closer look at these filters from Camera Butter. I'll then come back and share with you some thoughts before I show you some of the results that I've had from them. So the pack I've got here is the 5 filter one. This consists of four ND filters as well as a UV filter. Now they come in this nice little plastic case with packaging that holds them in nice and tight. And the nice thing about this is that you can just put them back in, throw it in your bag, and it's not going to take up too much space. But you know it's also going to protect the filters as well. Now these ND filters are specifically designed for the DJI O3 camera. Camera Butter also makes some ND filters for the Avata, which are different different and they recommend you buy the right one specifically for your model. Now the big difference between these and some of the other filters that may be available on the market for the O3 camera is that these are using Gorilla Glass. That is that same high quality glass that we see on the screens of our iPhone which is going to just make them a little bit stronger overall. They have premium ND coating and they're designed specifically for use on that O3 camera. They've got little wings 
rings on the top for allowing easy put on and removal, but you can also rotate them 90 degrees as well, allowing you to fit them in other style of frames. And the overall design of the filter has been done in such a way to make fitting and removing as easy as possible, but also make sure that they don't damage the little wings that stick out on the camera as well. Now in the set I've got here, we've got an ND4, ND8, ND16 and ND32. That should be pretty much everything most people need. You can also though get these in two filter packs as well. So if you didn't want the full set, you can get them in a two pack of an ND8 and 16 or a two pack of the UV lens protector as well. Again, if you're just looking for some additional protection on your O3, that is definitely going to be worth a look. Now, just lifting out the ND4, you can see when I tilt it, the colour of that ND coating showing up there. You can see it's got the brand at the top, camera butter, and then the ND style at the bottom. And then if I flip it round to the side, you've got the little clip on the side that allows you to put them on the camera 90 degrees around. But you've also got the little clips at the top too that allow them to stay on. Now, just getting in a bit closer to have a look at the quality of the filters, you can see there the glass is inserted nicely. It's all nice and round. There's no signs of adhesive or anything around the edges overlapping onto the ND itself. And if we look at the aluminium machining, it's really nicely done. All of these little edges are nice and soft. And overall, you can see a lot of care has been put into making these filters and ensuring that the quality is pretty much as good as it gets. Fitting the filters onto the O3 camera is fairly straightforward. Here we've got the Speedy Bee Master version 2. This frame actually has quite a bit of space either side, but we can then just place the filter over the top, give it a bit of a push, and then it will lock in on the camera like that. It's held really nice and tightly in place, and you're gonna have no issues with them coming off in flight. This frame does have a bit of space either side, so if you did want to rotate them 90 degrees, you can pop them off you just give them a pop at the top and as you can see I can rotate this one 90 and there is actually enough space in this frame to do it if I just move my fingers up there a little bit so I can just pop it in and then you can see that we can put it on 90 degrees as well Looking at other types of frames out there, here we've got the Nazgul version 2. This, again, just place it over the top, give it a push until it locks in place, and then the filter is held on nice and tight. And again, if you did want to rotate it 90 degrees, we can simply pop it off. And if your frame allows, if there is enough space, you can then clip it on like that. This frame here isn't really one you're going to want to go with the 90 degrees. It does actually clear, but you will probably want to go with the vertical option on a frame like this. Now, there are some rules that you need to follow for using ND filters and getting the best out of them. The biggest one being you need to make sure that you're in manual camera settings, and I'll show you the reason why for that in a moment. Now, just to demonstrate the effect the ND filters have, here we've got the O3 camera in auto mode, no ND filter installed, and you can see it shows a shutter speed of 1 1,000th and 100 ISO. Now, as we're recording at 4K30, as I mentioned earlier, this is massively higher than the double the frame rate rule. We'd want to be at 1 60th to avoid any additional vibrations getting through and have the smoothest possible footage. If we then switch the camera into manual mode, we're able to manually set our ISO again at 100 and set our shutter speed at 1 60th, which is ideal. However, we are now massively overexposed and this is where the ND filter kicks in. Here we've installed an ND8 and it's now pretty much spot on. We've been able to retain the shutter speed at 1 60th of a second, which is twice our frame rate, and the exposure looks about bang on. Now, just to demonstrate the effect of using the ND filter in auto and why it's a bad idea, here we have switched back to auto with the ND8 installed. And what you can see is as a result of the reduced light, the camera has decided to up the ISO and that then obviously introduces more noise and gain. There is no way to tell the camera that you're using an ND filter and to try and keep the ISO as low as possible. So instead, you always have to use manual settings. Now, normally at this point, I'd go over to the footage and then come back and share with you my thoughts, but I'm gonna do that first and then leave you with the footage at the end. Now, these ND filters have been tested for about the last month. They've been used and tested to see how they behave on the O3 system. And I can say the feedback has been absolutely fine. No problems whatsoever, zero complaints at all. Now, Camera Butter do make many different sets of ND filters. You can buy them as a kit like I've got here, or you can buy them individually. 
The kit you see here costs $59.99. That is the ND4, 8, 16, and 32, as well as the clear lens protector. You can, though, also get a two-pack of ND filter, which is the 8 and 16, or two-pack of lens protector if you wanted it as well, and there will be a link to them in the description if you want to order them. I just want to say a big Thank you to Camera Butter for sending these over. I think they're a really nice set of ND filters. And if you're interested in getting a set, there will be a link to that in the description. Finally, before I leave you with the footage, I just want to say if you have found this video interesting, please do let me know what you think in the comments section. Any questions, put them in there and I will try and answer them as well. And finally, if you'd like to support the channel, there is a link to Patreon in the description too. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my patrons for all of the support. And if you'd like to support us moving forward, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with some of the results I've had from these filters. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.